What is up guys, it's the Nano Bros here and today I'm going to update you guys on the BioCube 14 week 10. Let's get started. Alright guys, so what I first want to start out with is my Duncan Coral. So I did glue him, I took a piece of my dry rock that I had, but first I took him off the frag, then I took a piece of my dry rock, a small piece that broke off in the box while it when it got shipped and I glued him to that so this rock it fit perfectly in where I wanted to put him but I moved him a couple times I kept I kept him in this area but I moved him a couple times the first time he, he was on an, a slant or an angle he was on an angle on on my left which is your right I'm pretty sure so he was on an angle that way and he didn't open up so I, I moved him and then I put him straight up so he was straight up it was not a completely secure fit I was just seeing if he would like it and he didn't open up I don't know why because it's basically in the same spot but I guess he just didn't like it so the last spot is right where he is now I just put him there today and he opened up hours after I put him there so I guess he likes that spot the only thing bad about this spot which I don't like me personally is that you can't really see his head you can't see the color of the, the lightish greenish turquoise that of his head that you can't you can't you just can't see it it's hidden behind the rock you can only see the smaller head that has no color on it it's just like the color of its tentacles or something so that's the only bad part about that but he will eventually grow out and it will look nice. Next I want to talk about my hammer coral. Hammer coral is doing great. I do not plan on moving him. So he's going to be staying there and yeah. Next I want to talk about my zoanthids. Uh, my zoanthids are doing great. I haven't had to move them which is phenomenal and hopefully I just can't wait till they spread all over that rock. Once they spread on that rock, it's gonna look awesome. All right, I don't know if this is the frag plug on an angle, but I think it is, but the zoanthids are kind of on an angle. It's basically the angle of the power head is pushing this way and the zoanthids are following that pattern. To me, it's just looking like it's the frag plug and there's no big deal. I just don't want them to spread like this way. I want them to spread all over the rock. Like I want them to spread this way I just want them to spread in all directions, that's that's all I want. My torch coral, he's doing great, he, I'm never probably going to move him, I'm hoping I'm not going to have to move him, but he's doing great there, and yeah, he just looks amazing right there. My candy cane coral, he's doing great, nothing has changed with him, he's finally open, I know I talked to that last couple videos, but it's great to see him open, and yeah. A Kenya tree, he's doing phenomenal in that spot. There's a little, so much more room. I see like new heads coming off and new branches, and it's just great to see him open and that he's doing good and growing. My dragonette, I don't know if you can see him, he's in the corner over here, in the back corner. But today, I couldn't have believed, but today, when I fed mice shrimp, I couldn't believe what I saw. There was um, a decent size of mice shrimp floating about maybe an inch above him. And what I what he did is he just like floated up and he just grabbed it and he ate it. And I was like, wow, I have never seen him do that before. And then he did it another time, which is good because he's eating the mice shrimp and that's just good. My clownfish, he's doing really good by himself. Like when I throw two pellets in, they're gone within less than three seconds, which is, I don't know, it's just crazy. Like none float to the bottom. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about buying a yellow clown goby. I'm not sure though, because I, they're really small. They only grow up to like one and a half inches, but they're really cool. They like to perch on the rocks and the corals. So I'm probably gonna be getting one soon. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to or not, but I'm planning on to. Next, the algae. I haven't been talking about it in the past videos, 
the cyanobacteria has died off, which is great. I think it's because of the flow. The flow definitely did work. I did not do anything else. The only thing I did was take out three rocks of the tank and scrubbed them under hot water. And I just put them back in and hasn't grown back, which is good. And what I'm seeing is I'm growing a lot of light green coralline algae, which is great. Can't wait till it covers up all the rocks and stuff. And I can't wait till I start seeing the purples and the reds. Alright guys, so last week I got this putty. It's a white putty, so if you guys want it to blend in with your dry rock that hasn't got coralline algae on yet, this is good stuff. I haven't used it. I haven't not tried it yet. Alright. I was planning on gluing the frag plug to the rock with this stuff. I would think it would, it would be easier, but I haven't tried it yet, and I don't know if I'm going to because the Duncan Coral is a pretty secure fit right now um, where it's at. Here's the packaging if you want to check that out. Alright, so now the last thing I did this two days ago. I got copods, alright? I bought 3,000 live copods from algaebarn.com. 3,000 for $30. All right, I um, mean this, I used, I poured half of them in, and here they are. Um, there's two different kinds in this bag. They all settled to the bottom. I put them in the fridge. Yeah, I put these in because I didn't, I didn't think there were any in my tank. I put these in two days ago, like I said before. I put them in for the dragonette because I feed mice and shrimp every other day. So I want him to have something other than mice and shrimp. So, yeah. Um, when I poured these in, there was just so many in the tank. Like, I think there was more than 3,000 copods in this bag right here. This is 16 ounces. And they were all over the glass. And they were swimming around and on the rocks. And the key word, were. Alright, I'm pretty sure they're still in the tank. But... I don't see any on the glass, maybe, or on the rocks, maybe they're inside the rocks, because I poured them in, I turned off the power head for about a half hour to let them settle and stuff, and after I turned it on the next morning, I couldn't see any, so I know there's still some in there, they're probably inside the rock work and stuff, and in the sand, so the only bad thing is, that my filter pad, that's the only thing I have in there for filtration pretty much in the live in the, the live rock in the back, but they're probably all caught up on the filter pad, so that's that's the bad thing, but th there still is some in the display. So that is it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We have I think 40 subscribers now or 39, I don't know. But thank you guys so much. And this is the Nano Bros, and we're out.